Oh, we have these shoes, right? These um um Lauren Halsey. I'm not sure who Lauren Halsey is. I think she's an artist. It seems like from a quick Google that I did, but in terms of the overall shoe and not concerning the actual artist that collaborated them, even though the collaboration is a big part of understanding why the shoe looks the way it does, just objectively as a shoe, these are fucking banging. I love them. So essentially it's an it's an all black Air Force One, so you know I'm always game. Um with some very clever little sparks of colour and little bits of detail that really kind of make it pop. You've got this weird kind of like no, you've got this kind of essentially like a dark blue um outsole. So essentially it's all black, dark blue outsole. And then the like the thing that I like that makes it interesting is that the upper isn't just all one material. It's uh, essentially I think you've got maybe a combination of suede and nubuck or nubuck and tumbled leather at the back of the shoe. And then the swoosh looks like it's removable, but it's patent black. So you've got a whole black upper with all these different materials that gives it a little shine. You've got a little bit of an embroidery at the back heel. And then also you've got the addition of these um, rainbow colored or gradient colored um, laces that go from black to green and orange on either side. And then you've got this really sh interesting strap at the top of the Air Force One, which is most, uh, most akin to the strap you might have found on the, on the Concept 2 row machine. Like you kind of clip it and pull it along like those kind of clip it belts which i think might be a better way to strap an air force one as opposed to the regular version that we have now at the moment that kind of goes through a loop and it's basically a velcro sort of strap um i think this is still velcro but i like the fact that it's got like a clip on it so you can basically feed it through and then clip it on the back that looks really cool I, i'm a big fan of it because i'm not really a fan of how people wear the air force ones the classic ways you essentially take the strap off and have the loop hanging from the back um or you just take the hoop off, loop off um um, all together or if you want to have that style you essentially wear the air force one mid which is you know a bit of a cheat i think you should only be wearing lows or highs or you get the air force one mid that has the strap that's a little bit more it's got more of a shape so you should just wear it a bit open right that kind of style of wearing but i'm a big fan of this shoe man um this is news from sneaker news it says lauren halsey brings um afrofuturism and funk to a purposeful um, Air Force One high. Um, the text is the following, the, curve, the convergence of art and footwear. Uh, Nike's latest modification of the Air Force One high lies largely reversed on the surface, yet loud just underneath with its finger on the pulse of Lauren Halsey's thought-provoking messages. Um, her artwork deals with class and systemic oppression of both the LGBTQ and African-American communities alike, speaking out with pieces such as What If We Owned or with the sprawling mosaics of Gotta Get Over the Hump. So let's definitely just check this um Lauren Halsey out and see what kind of artwork they do because it's been talking a big game. Let's see what we think of the actual artwork. But the shoes objectively are fucking cool. I'm a big fan of them. Okay, I love the art. Just looking at it from the images on Google. Images look pretty cool. Um so again, really cool collaboration. Look, I wonder why she got a collab with Nike though. I wonder what the premise is. Usually they don't really fly these collabs for any reason. They usually might be uh activation tied with it. Maybe she's gonna do an exhibition sponsored by Nike. But it's interesting color because I've not really heard of her. Maybe she's very popular in LA. Um, but again, maybe again it's a, it's a good indication that someone that working in like has their finger on the pulse, was able to recognize somebody that's doing some good work on a kind of you know, it's bubbling um up on the surface and kind of gave them a shot and gave them a chance and gave them a collab. Because these collabs, even though for us customers it might be a bit dry and a bit, you know, a bit tiresome, they they do serve as a good opportunity for the artists themselves to really gain some traction and really get their name out there, right? It does really kind of um alert everyone, especially uh, especially people that don't know how their finger on the pulse. You're essentially being provided with a platform to kind of spread your message and kind of put yourself out there again and get other brand deals. Of course, it might be a bit difficult with other sports brands because once you've signed with Nike, it's hard to go back and kind of, you know, um, sign with Adidas or whatever it may be. Or sometimes you might sign an exclusivity deal that might, uh, might kind of block you from doing that. But I think other brands in other industries will see that. Um, Nike badge of approval and also want to align with you in some respect, shape or form, especially nowadays in this capitalist world we live in where, you know, un unfortunately the LGBTQ message has been co-opted and now people are using it as a kind of essentially a market employee, right? There's no office in Liverpool Street that I've seen during, you know, um, gay pride that doesn't have their logo changed to the fucking LGBTQ rainbow, even though some of the employees or some of their directors or some of their actions will be very much against that whole community in the first place but you know that's neither here or there let's go back to the shoe um the shoe itself they continue ba, 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 ba. 
The article says, what if we get off this harm? Continuing a headstrong to a wider audience with help of now removable sushis of the Beaverton staple. The black dress uppers bear texture of suede or smooth leathers lining and lying next to a, a bold face type that says uh, Suma everything. The artist handle for her private Instagram account while expressive. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't it? She's got, a, she's got her own Instagram account username on the side of a shoe that's private. So you can't even look at it yourself. So you can't even... So maybe she's going to gain some followers. This might be a cool way to do a collab, isn't it? It's, you know, on the, on the tongue, instead of changing the tongue to your logo or changing the fucking, the heel tab to your logo, maybe have on the back of it your fucking um, Instagram um, at, um, that would be pretty cool going forward, isn't it? That would be fucking awesome. I, I love that. Um, straps at the top line are nothing of the ordinary, particularly revealing this inner thread throughout the whole translucent window. The tongue sport and punchy graphics, neighborhood autonomy and pride, speaking out of unison of vibrant imagery of the culture rich all over print, tucked away on the insole. Grab a good look at her and take just right below. Jesus Christ, writing on this website is horrible, but I think maybe this is just from a press release or some sort of word lottery. But yeah, it looks amazing. I'm a big fan of them. Three, piece, three different materials on the upper. A nice removable uh, patent solution on the side. So if you don't want any branding and you just want to keep it nice and mellow, you can. Uh, a really cool strap at the top and these great laces. I'm a big fan of them, man. Again, you, you're not going to get me saying anything wrong about uh, all black Air Force One. Easy wear shoes to wear especially if you want to go rub an off license somewhere definitely check them out if you're that way inclined i fucking love them great shoe and they're going to be out when december december 7th so a few a few weeks ago um again a shoe that isn't going to be that hyped not a lot of people are going to be wanting to resell it but as just an objective shoe to have in your wardrobe that's really cool that looks amazing get them now and again i'm saying it now before someone cool wears them and everyone starts fucking wanking over them get them now make it on mind that be a thought leader don't go for the easy safe thing try and make a difference and wear something more interesting and i like the fact they've got metal eyelets at the top and not at the bottom wonder why that is see right here at the top there's metal eyelets and the bottom there isn't hmm, interesting i don't really like metal eyelets on my shoes in general i think it makes it the shoe look a bit too formal it ends up looking like a wingtip is it me maybe it's not only just me but i'm not really a fan of the metal eyelets but yeah check these shoes out a cool collaboration with lauren halsey um afro afro futurism air force one high that's not what they call though right they call the yeah summer everything so yeah definitely check those out out december the 7th at all your regular sneaker spots i'm assuming in it